I'm Alan Main, I'm from the Stella Creek Cherry Orchard and I wanted to show you um, how we pick cherries uh, at Stella Creek. Several indisputable facts appear evident in geological and climate science that make me a true, quote, denier, unquote, of human-caused global warming. Harrison Schmidt is a right-wing activist whose history as an Apollo astronaut has made him an ideal tool for the climate denial industry. Let's examine a recent claim that Dr. Schmidt made about Arctic sea ice. In a recent publication, he claimed that Arctic sea ice has returned to 1989 levels of coverage. Viewers of this series will know that the National Snow and Ice Data Center keeps track of Arctic sea ice, and that Arctic sea ice has been in decline for several decades, and that the decline has continued through 2009 and 2010. So how does Dr. Schmidt come up with his assertion? If we look at a graph of sea ice extent, it's true we can find points in 1989 and 2009 where the square kilometer extent of sea ice was equal. But this graph is somewhat incomplete without the addition of the long-term up and down trends. Arctic ice peaks in the winter and bottoms out every summer, giving us an iconic sine wave pattern. We can see that the two points show up on this line, but also that Dr. Schmidt might have left out how those points relate to the long-term decline. When we show the yearly average, we can better understand what real experts on Arctic sea ice, like U.S. Navy Chief Oceanographer Admiral David Titley, are telling us about Arctic sea ice, what it's doing now, and what we expect in the future. We expect to see about four weeks of basically ice-free conditions in the Arctic in the mid to late 2030s. By the middle of the century, we could be seeing quite easily two to three months of ice-free conditions. Dr. Schmidt's sleight of hand with statistics is called cherry picking. And it's an art that must be mastered before anyone can call themselves a true denier of climate science. Make me a true, quote, denier, unquote, of human-caused global warming. When you pick, make sure your thumb and forefinger are right up the top of the cherry stem, right at the top there, and then just twist. Twist like that. Twist like, excuse my finger too, won't you? <laughs> just twist like that, and off it comes. <laughs> 